This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us right now at 5 o'clock. State workers now have a few more days to get vaccinated. The governor moved the deadline to this Monday, October 4th. And thousands of employees have yet to comply with those rules, and they could be forced off the job if they don't. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live at the state capitol tonight. And Susan, most state workers are covered by a union. What are they saying about all of this? That's right, Aaron. And in fact, we had a chance to speak to some union leaders today, and they tell us that they are working with the governor and his administration to make sure that state workers get vaccinated. But as of now, in the executive branch, there are still about 10,000 state workers who are not in compliance. Starting this Monday, by the end of the day, state workers in the executive branch must show proof of vaccination or have submitted weekly test results. More than half of those state workers are in compliance but about 10,000 are not. There are consequences. Those who fail to comply will be disciplined, which means they can be sent home on unpaid leave until they do comply. But there could be some exceptions for those who are trying and maybe having difficulty. We've got strong support with labor. Labor is busy explaining this to uh, state employees going forward. State employees have another period of time uh, to get their information into us, tell us how they plan to uh, vaccinate free of charge, no questions asked. CBAC, which represents about 44,000 state employees in Connecticut, tells us the state health insurance plan will cover the first four COVID tests at 100% for those sites not already providing free coverage. And that sick time, as well as personal leave, vacation, and other accruals can be used to cover work time loss to get tested. The judicial branch, which covers the courts, is also following the governor's mandates and is requiring staff to either get vaccinated or tested weekly. And they tell us that any employee who fails to comply will not be allowed on the premises of a judicial branch facility. And hospitals are also pushing hard to get their employees vaccinated. And they are telling us that they are giving their employees a choice. Either they get vaccinated or the only exception would be a medical exemption. And while COVID or uh, vaccinations are high at Connecticut hospitals, the problem seems to be some employees are not in compliance and they could lose their jobs. We'll have that coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. For now, we are live at the State Capitol in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, we'll see you in an hour, Susan. Thank you very much. Well, that does bring us to our Vote Now question tonight. Should unvaccinated state employees lose their jobs? Let us know what you think. You can go right now to the Channel 3 app or WFSB.com slash vote now and weigh in here on our unscientific poll. But as you can see, 53% of you say no, they should not be losing their jobs. Also new right now at 5 o'clock, 